This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I sculpt on a model that is not in the center of the world using symmetry? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the demo soldier here loaded in, and I've just isolated his body subtool here. Now the question is asking about using symmetry. So I've come across the demo soldier here, and I press X on my keyboard to activate symmetry. And now I sculpt on one part of my model, and you're going to see that the sculptural result has been repeated to the other side. So it's taking what I am sculpting and then creating symmetry and repeating that stroke on the opposite part of my model. Now by default, this will work with a model that is in the center of the world. So if I take the demo soldier here and now say move him to another part of the scene, so off the center axis, and now I go back to my standard brush here, and hit X, and now try to sculpt with symmetry again, you're gonna see that the symmetry has been broken. So the sculpting I do now is only affecting one part of his body. And this is just because the symmetry at this moment is looking at the world axis. So you can see that little dot floating to the side of the model there is not corresponding to the other part of the demo soldier. So how can I sculpt on this model with symmetry even though it's off in space? So there are three processes you can do. So the first process is that you can take a model that is out in space and you can temporarily center it to the scene. So with the demo soldier selected here, I'm gonna navigate up to the transform palette here and I'm gonna locate this S pivot button. Now when you click S pivot, it's going to snap the model to the center of the world. So you can see it's taken the demo soldier here and it's moved him from his location off in space and put him to the center of the world. So now that he's back in the center of the world, if I turn on that symmetry again, and now sculpt, you're gonna see I'm going to get the symmetry effect happening. And this is because the symmetry effect is still looking at this world axis, and I've just temporarily repositioned the demo soldier from his original location to the center of the world to allow me to sculpt symmetrically. Now after you have your sculpting done, you can go back to the transform palette here, you can click C pivot, and when you click C pivot, it's going to return him back to his original location. So now you can see he's returned back to his original spot in the world. And if I try to sculpt with symmetry again now, you're going to see that it's no longer applying to the other side of the mesh. So that is one process you can use. So you can hit S pivot to temporarily position the model in the center of the world. And then you can click C pivot to return the model back to its original location. Now another option you can use is activating local symmetry. So if I come over to the bar over here and now click this local symmetry button, ZBrush is now going to look at the local symmetry of the subtool you have selected. So since the demo soldier is symmetrical, now with local symmetry active, if I come over and sculpt with symmetry, you're gonna see it's going to affect the other part of the model like you expect. So this local symmetry option is just changing how the symmetry is working. And instead of it using the world axis, it's now going to use the local axis of your model. So now with the demo soldier being positioned off in space and the local symmetry active, I can now sculpt on him with that symmetry. Now the final option you can do, I'm just gonna return the demo soldier all the way back to the original version of him, so just undoing a few times here, is you can use posable symmetry. So I'm just gonna turn off local symmetry here, and now I'm just gonna navigate back to the transform palette here, and underneath the symmetry options, you have this button called Use Posable Symmetry. So if your model is completely symmetrical, as the demo soldier here, this button will be able to be used. So I can click Use Posable Symmetry. And what this button is going to do, it's going to look at the topology of your model and store the symmetry based on that topology. The demo soldier here has multiple vertices along his mesh. And ZBrush is now going to remember that this vertice here matches with this vertice over here. This vertice here matches with this vertice over here, and so on. So now with this, if I take the demo soldier here and move them off into space like so, and now go back to my sculpting brush and have symmetry active, let me just turn off this polyframes here, you're gonna see it's going to use that posable symmetry now, and I'm gonna be able to sculpt on the model with the posable symmetry. Now the posable symmetry is only going to be active if you have symmetry turned on. So if I turn symmetry off by hitting X on my keyboard, you're gonna see that the posable symmetry option is now disabled. So with this disabled, I can even now do asymmetrical changes to my mesh. 
So I'm just going to mask off the arm here and then just blur that a little bit and then hold control and flip that mask. And I'm going to grab the rotate transpose line here and just draw it out and then just bend his arm some. And then I'm going to clear that mask and I'm going to go back to my standard brush. So now I've just repositioned this entire arm. Now, since I activated posable symmetry before I did this reposition, when I turn symmetry back on, since ZBrush is using posable symmetry and looking at the vertex positions on the model, this means that even with the model being off in space and now in an asymmetrical format, if I sculpt on this part of the model here, you're going to see it's going to sculpt on the same part of the model over here. So even with this model being posed, I'm going to be able to use symmetry still on this mesh. And this is because I just activated that posable symmetry. So this is really, really handy if you have a lot of sculpting to do on a mesh and you also need it in a posed scenario. So once again, to activate posable symmetry, just make sure that your model is in a symmetrical fashion. So I'm just going to undo this here, the model back to the center here. Go to the transform palette here. Underneath the activate symmetry option, click this use posable symmetry. And now anytime you have symmetry on, it's going to use the posable symmetry of the mesh. And this will now allow you to use symmetry based on the vertex positions of your model. So that is a third way you can use symmetry on ZBrush with models that may be posed differently or even off in different parts of space. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.